Welcome back guys. Let's just get right into it. First you will need the Collider Colors Powder Lightener um, in the Violet Pack. Um, I would recommend getting the Violet Pack over the Blue Pack because it's ideal for dark brown hair and it lightens up to five levels and adds neutral and beige tones. So it's really good if you don't want to get your closure too light. I'm going to be using this with the Clairol 20 Developer. Of course you will need scissors, um, some tweezers to pluck the closure, um, a mixing bowl, and I like to use this perm brush um, just to help me mix everything and apply the mixture to the closure. So this is what my closure looks like fresh out of the pack, um, unbleached, uncustomized. If you look very closely, you can see these black dots um, at the roots and that is just the knots that the hair is attached to. Um, these are the knots that I'm going to be bleaching so that the closure can look more natural and it can look like the hair is actually coming out of my scalp. So at the end of the video, you'll be able to see the difference between a bleached closure and an unbleached closure. So I'm basically just putting the powder in the mixing bowl and I'm adding a little bit of developer at a time um, very slowly until I get the consistency that I want. Um, of course you want it not too thin because if it is too thin and too runny it will run through the closure and it will bleach um, the hair and you don't want it to bleach the hair you just want it to bleach the knots so you would like the mixture to be somewhat thick um, so they can just stay on the knots and not seep through to the hair. So now I am going to apply the mixture to my closure. So be very careful with this. Um, it is very easy to mess up. Take your time. Although the video is sped up, I did spend at least 15 minutes applying this to the entire closure. You want to make sure to dab it on the closure and not press it into the closure because if you press it into the closure you could bleach the hair um which i actually did but i will show you how i fixed that um in the end but just be very gentle with the way you put it on there and then um let that process i let mine process for about 45 to 50 minutes um, but i checked it periodically after the bleach has processed on the closure, um, you can rinse the product off of the closure, being sure not to get it on the hair. Even though as soon as the water hits it, um, it should the, the chemical should deactivate anyway. Um, I'm using a neutralizing shampoo uh, from New Knot um, just to wash the closure, make sure all of the bleach is off of there, and to wash the hair. And as you can see, you can barely see any black knots. Um, I'll show you a little closer in just one second. So I have let the closure dry um, so that I can see all of the hairs to begin customizing it. As you can see, I accidentally bleached some of the hairs in the front of the closure. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that because um, I'm going to customize the closure to fit my hairline. So those blonde hairs in the front can just be plucked out. Um, if I were to have bleached other parts of the closure, like like hair throughout the closure, I would have to actually re-dye the hair, um, which isn't a problem, but luckily I didn't do that. I only bleached like a few strands in the front. So this is easily fixable, um, and I'm just really just gonna pluck all those out of there, but you'll get to see that in just a second. So this hair is really fine, and um, it's really fly away. So I kinda just had to put a little water on it um, just to control it so that I could see what I'm doing and begin plucking the hairline. Um, I looked at a picture of my hairline just tried to get it as close to it as possible. This is not a fast process. Um, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, I only have a 5x5 five five closure and it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to actually customize it how I like it. Um, I can only imagine how long a frontal would take like this took quite a bit of time But you do want to make sure that you're following the natural flow of your hairline and that you aren't plucking out too much hair Because you don't want 
big spots of just bald lace. Um, you want it to look natural and you want it to um, just fit nicely on your head. To get the full effect of the hairline, um, I parted it a little bit behind where the closure begins and plucked hair just to thin out the hair in the front. Not to necessarily take it out, but just to thin it out so that it looks a little bit more natural. So the closure did come with like little baby hairs intact, but I think I plucked all those out when I was trying to remove the blonde strands. So I'm just um, kind of somewhat recreating, not baby hairs, but just short strands, um, just so that the closure will look a little bit natural um, and it will kind of mirror, you know, someone's real hair. And so this is what the hairline looks like and as you can see it looks pretty much like a natural hairline and you can see no knots. The knots are completely bleached. Um, it looks like someone's actual scalp and um, you can see the difference than how, from how it looked in the beginning. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I hope I gave you guys some insight. I hope this video was pretty helpful. Um, if you have any additional questions, comments, or anything, leave them down in the description box below. That's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.